Okay, another feature that is available in Spring Boot 2.3 or higher is the ability to handle a graceful shutdown. So what we don't want Kubernetes to do is terminate our application while it's still processing stuff. So we want to give that a, a little bit of time to uh, complete properly. So again, very similar to the liveness and the readiness probes, uh, we need to set a uh, environment variable to enable this and then also configure Kubernetes to uh, utilize that. So let's go in and we are going to edit the uh, deployment descriptor again. And we'll go all the way down to the bottom here. And now what we want to do is come in here and say name. And this time it is going to be server and value. You're going to say graceful. So this is a Spring Boot property saying that we are going to go ahead and try to uh, shut down gracefully, allow any in-flight uh, transactions to complete. So this is telling Spring Boot uh, to go ahead and do this. Now what we need to do is tell Kubernetes to shut this down uh, gracefully. So we can come in here and we want to say the lifecycle property. And we want to say pre-stop. And we want to give it a command to execute. I'm going to give it a command like so. And this is going to be a shell command. Very simple command. We're just going to say sleep for 10 seconds. Be sure to terminate that. And then close that out. Let's double check this. That looks proper. And we'll go ahead and write this. And again, we can come in and say, apply our deployment descriptor. And we can say that has been updated. And we can see again, we, we have uh, two services running. So we did that pretty quick. The second one is ser uh, terminating. Let's see if we can catch the logs on this one as it's starting up does start up pretty quick. We have a fairly light Spring Boot application there. And that is already up and running. And unfortunately, I don't have a good way to demonstrate that it's actually going to work. We could write some logging into a Spring Boot, uh, into the Spring Bean lifecycle to uh, show termination events, but uh, I don't have a handy way to prove that we are getting a uh, graceful uh, shutdown. But just to uh, recap for the uh, configuration of this, what we wanted to do here, uh, we added in this server shutdown of Graceful, so that it's going to tell Spring Boot to uh, gracefully shut down. And it does give a, a life cycle. I think the default is 30 seconds for the uh, life cycle, so that's a little bit of a mismatch there. You can override that. Uh, refer to the Spring Boot uh, documentation on that. This is a, a new feature of Spring Boot 2.3. But the, the primary thing is we are telling Spring Boot uh, to do a graceful shutdown. And then on these three lines here, we are telling Kubernetes to give the application uh, effectively 10 seconds to uh, complete uh, its shutdown activities.